For most of his life, a Colonial Heights man has put his talents to paper and canvas. For several decades, those talents have been shared across the country. But his passion isn't just in his artwork. In tonight's Wayne's World, senior reporter Wayne Koval introduces us to Henry Kidd, a man dedicated to keeping memories alive. My name is Henry Kidd. I am a historical artist. And a couple of years ago, he got the keys to this. Now, I thank the Lord for having this art gallery. Now I've got a place to go every day doing what I love to do. Henry is retired now. His work career. I originally worked at Philip Morris for 30 years. But turning a blank page to a work of art, lifelong. I would talk to my grandmother uh, about her father, who was a Civil War soldier. And that's how many in Central Virginia came to know and view his paintings. For 20 years, I did nothing but uh, the American Civil War, uh, trying to honor men from both sides of the, the war. But there is so much more to this artist. At age 17, I did a painting of uh, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin on the moon. I was happy to say that at the 20th anniversary of them landing on the moon, I met Buzz Aldrin, and he actually signed my painting for me. And it's those chance encounters throughout his artistic career that have shaped his work, like the person who introduced him to medic stretchers from two wars. They are canvas anyway. For his next project. Was my World War II piece. Uh, I had sand I collected from uh, Omaha Beach. Uh, and when the paint was wet, I'd sprinkle sand on the beach to make it have part of the battlefield on there. But a chance encounter with a patron. And she saw the uh, medic holding the wounded man's hand and she said my father was a medic during Vietnam and he told me that sometimes the only thing a medic can do for a wounded soldier was to hold his hand and that gave me chills to, to hear that. But then there are the other paintings. I went to Italy and a series of paintings came from the experience. I went to Florence to see the statue and I can tell you I was moved. Michelangelo's David is the epitome of all artwork. Leaving war and the masterpieces behind. In one word, this is fun. You got them fishing. Henry spent time in a carousel phase. Star Wars. Like I called the title of this one on a carousel far, far away. But his fourth carousel. There are more than 25 episodes represented in uh, this carousel here. His love affair with the show resulted in a close encounter with the actress who played Thelma Lou back in 2017. She loved it. When Henry presented her with his signed print. It was the number one print of 500. The original. This is it, I'll, I will cherish this forever. Which she signed. She not only signed it, she wrote a love note to Barney as if she was Thelma Lou. That number one print? She had it hanging up in her house. After Betty Lynn's death last October, her possessions auctioned off online for charity. Eight unique bidders bid a total of 65 times for the print Henry gave her. The gavel came down at $6,500. It was the most expensive item of anything in Betty Lynn's estate. And for the other seven bidders. I love to find the second runner up to tell them I've got prints available. <laughs> I sell for $20. With hundreds of paintings and drawings to his credit. I was at home that morning. There is one. It is color pencil. Which still brings tears to his eyes. Depicts the trade centers, how we'll always remember them. Prominent to the drawing. Of the policeman and the firefighter. Started and finished within a month of the terrorist attack on 9-11. As people are rushing out of the trade center trying to escape for freedom, these men and women were going into the building to try to save people. And that so moved me. So moved, he drove to New York City and donated prints to the firehouses. Henry would sell the prints, raising $25,000, donating the money to New York City's police and fire department's relief funds. Henry would drive back home from New York City with three prints signed by 9-11 first responders. I cherish these almost more than I do the original. Henry Kidd's artistry isn't just applied by pencil and brush. 
He's also appeared in a half dozen movies and several TV shows. And if that's not enough, of course he plays Santa Claus. 